So it is not where the maximum impulse, maximum may be here, but uh, you put the finger like this, you put the whole hand like this, you can feel it and you try to localize the outermost point. Here I can do this, so this is the outermost point. Feel it? Next one maybe here somewhere. Yes, it's more here, but uh, it's also better for me here. So this will be the apex peak from this. So we have to count in the apex peak uh, uh, which uh, intercourses basically then. So this is the uh, suprasternal notch. There's the manubrium sternai. With the manubrium sternai, we can feed it. So with it, this should be the second rib, so this is the second space, and put one finger here with the third space, this is the fourth space, this is the fifth space. So we felt it here, so we feel it in the fifth space, and uh, we have to count where it is uh, inside or outside the mid-clavicular line. So how do we see the mid-clavicular line? For every midpoint, we have to see uh, two bony points. So which are the two bony points here? This is a suprasternal notch, and this is a so uh, between these two be measured. So many centimeters from the outside the midline line. That is clear? Yes. So this is how to measure the apex speed. So apex speed, you have to see in CVS as well as respiratory. For respiratory, something will pull it and something will push it. Now we'll see what pulls and what pushes. Then we have to see adjusting the movement of the chest. So we'll see the chest expansion. Put the hand firmly and uh, come slightly raised. It is moving in respiration equal on both sides, and we'll see the expansion. What is the chest expansion? Increase by about two centimeters, so that would be the chest expansion. Maybe this rib pay hum check or chest expansion? This rib pay hum check or second. Nipples can never pick up something. Nipple can fix can easy. Then we see the So we have to examine the chest anteriorly, laterally, and posteriorly. Put the back up. You turn it off, and you turn it off. So now we can look away. Give me. Is he making it? Thank 
Here you put the hand in the mix and you see it's moving. In our palpation, we also see the tactile vocal fractures. So put the hand in the to process the space. Feel with the medial border. Put it between the ribs below endo thin. Elbolo. 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 So whatever you do on one side, you should also compare on the other side also. Hmm? Whatever you do on one side, you do on the parallel on the other side also. Finding a vibration field. So normal hair, you increase hair, you absent hair, you decrease hair. So we compare the sides. Normally, normally vibration नहीं होती। Normally होती है। होती है। अगर अब normal लोगों तो नहीं present ही होती। ज़्यादा होती है। जैसे plural diffusion है तो उसमें नहीं होती absent होती। अगर absent है तो उसमें कम होगी। बोलो एक दो तीन। बोलो एक दो तीन। We will examine two cases that posteriorly, posteriorly we have a scapula, which ribs does it go, uh, which vertebra does it go from which to which? Two to eight. Two to seven. So, uh, here this is the vertical and here if we examine we have to put the hands like this, vertically, for a protein. What do you got in? Let me put it like this before the scapula. What do you got in? Take a little. Let me do percussion. the hands in contact, the middle finger in the interconscious space, on the clavicles we focus down. Focus with the middle finger, the sound is placed in the middle of the fingers. Then here you put the hand like this and you just move from the wrist, not the whole hand. That is three, and let me do two. And what put in the vertically on the side of the vertebral column. Then similar to that. Yeah, like a second level. Sound. Tactile local parameters is increase in consolidation because it becomes solid. So in collapse it is less. In pneumothorax or uh, 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 pneumothorax uh, it can be absent in fusion uh, absent. And percussion it will be dull in consolidation on uh, and in collapse and uh, uh, diffusion it will be strongly dull and in pneumothorax it will be resonant. Then on auscultation, uh, you can confirm the respiratory rate, then you can uh, 
I hear the respiratory sounds normal than any other extra sounds. So we auscultate. And that's why the number sounds. You can't be conscious of that in the bed. To be the irregular, see what happens. So this is also done in both three places at Chile. Two bedrooms and three Chile UK bedrooms. So now we'll talk about normal breathing and types of breathing. Sit down and you know, the board. <laughs> 